Well, tonight, hundreds of people from all faiths packed Thanksgiving Square in downtown Dallas for a refugee vigil, all in response to the executive order. The crowd included religious and community leaders, as well as those who work in programs that help refugees. Fox 4's Alex Boyer continues our coverage tonight from Thanksgiving Square. Alex. Heather, as day turned to night, people continued to pour into Thanksgiving Square to support immigrants and their families who have been caught up in this travel ban. Those people, including a Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins, who was here with at least two city council members. Hundreds of candles illuminated the sky over the interfaith vigil filled with people from all different ethnic backgrounds. We heard from several religious and community leaders, including one woman whose organization helps immigrants resettle in North Texas. She said last week a Syrian father and two children came to Dallas illegally to start a new life. Mom had to stay in Syria for a few days for health reasons. Now, because of this travel ban, she's unable to join her family in the U.S. I talked to several people shortly before the vigil started who feel examples like this one shine light on just some of the problems with President Trump's travel ban. I just feel for the refugees that are trying to come in for a safe passage, those that have already gone through vetting, have gone through the process legally and are detained in airports. Um, and I just think that's the beginning of it and there's more to come. Well, we're Latinos, so I mean, to change something in the United States, we have to be united. So I feel at one point we're going to need their help, Muslims, anyone's help. So we're here to support them. And then next week could be us, so we never know. And while there may be less vocal than the people who attended this rally and those who are protesting at DSW Airport, uh, there is also many Americans who support restricting certain individuals from entering the country. One man who describes himself as a conservative activist says while he doesn't necessarily agree with the approach President Trump took with this executive order, he does believe immigration reform is very much needed. We continue to see a steady stream of stories about folks that are very real victims of our kind of loosey-goosey approach to who comes and goes to our country. Uh, and I think, there is a, I think there is a need for some changes in that direction. I'm, I'm convinced of that. It's somewhat more of a, of a closer question as to, you know, folks that have, you know, let's say, been here a long time and they've, 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 they've been contributing to the community. Some of them started businesses and they've never had a parking ticket in their life. Uh, is that a priority? It's not a priority for me. And this issue has clearly struck a nerve with many people. One man here said President Trump is inadvertently mobilizing this nation, bringing people out of complacency and into the streets like tonight to make their voices heard. Heather? All right. Alex, live tonight. Thank you.